Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop for uh, Get Her Out number 21. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to pass on, I already did by uh, uh, yesterday, but I'd like to pass on through this movie uh, a happy birthday belated to, um, to a Bob, uh, Adam. He had his uh, 35th last a couple of weeks ago. My last week was my 66th. And uh, we're all chuffing along nicely, and uh, it's a bit of a grey, grey day today. But summer's coming on, so it's, it's sort of that time of the year. Anyway, what we've got in front of us here is uh, a, 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 a part of a um, of a pump of a submersible pump. Uh, this pump came in with uh, four broken six millimeter uh, studs. And in order to get those studs out, what I had to do was to cut off the 10 millimeter ones hit, protruding out here and on the other side, through the other side, were these studs. So um, I had to take them off first. So what I've ended up having to do, um, so I cut them off with the grinder close to the, close to the casting. I cut off the back ones as well. And then I set it up on the um, as, as it's set up here now, and then with a with a, a, a multi cutter, I trimmed everything off level with the with the aluminium. Now the the uh, critical part here is where the O-ring sits, so this is less critical. So there's a bit of touching here and there and whatever. But anyway, so I cleared it, cleared the deck with it, and then I went around uh, with my centre drill. And uh, the centre drill I use um, is an indexable one. Let's see if we can show it to you here, this indexable one. Very good for working particularly on stainless steel. So I went round and I indexed and drilled it, um, each one, each hole all the way around. And I marked it all down here, uh, X and Y, so that I could come back and revisit them. So the first thing I did was centre drilled every single one of them. I also uh, decided right from the word go, I'm cutting, I'm drilling all the bolts out, all the threads out, and I'm putting putting coils in every single one of them. I'm not, I'm not going to even attempt to get these uh, stainless steel uh, bolts out of the aluminium because um, they just seize up, and so it's just easier for, simpler for me to drill them all out. So I went round and I pilot drilled all of these using the same, just coming back on to the um, uh, on each position and so I, I progressively went around drilled all of them first with a pilot drill that pilot drill was um, the the tapping diameter of the 6 mil. so I did all those I've then gone around and drilled out the uh, the 10 mil ones tapped them and threaded them I put, I put inserts in uh, and the six mil ones I've done the same. I'm now on the last one, so I wouldn't bore you with the whole uh, thing and it just takes too long. We're now going to complete the last two exactly like I did the rest of them. So um, we've, uh, we're, now, we're now going to do the 10 mil one, we're going to drill that out. So um, we have, this is the, the, the 10 mil bit. We'll um, bring her into position. That uh, so this one here um, should be. So look, we'll just get it in here. Um, we've got a hundred and. 171.85 on 167, so that will make that, uh, that will bring that back to 100 and, uh, uh, 171.85, 85. That's it there. Lock that in, and the other way was 167. Point, um, point one six. Okay, that's near enough. We're going to drill that out and um, then we'll tap it and we'll put a coil in. And 
months ahead in how to use our black oil. I love this stuff. Give her a few more revs. Feel it bouncing up and down, that's as the threads are breaking up. That wasn't good. Did you get that? There's all sorts of bits and pieces in there, so we'll blow that out. only goes about halfway down and uh, there we go so we've um, we've cut through we've drilled through to the point where it's free and she just pushed it out and we're clear with that and we'll now drill out the tapping the tapping diameter for the insert. Now we'll change change our fluids. We'll go to the kerosene. This one's sacked. What we're trying to do here is to give another life to this uh, oil housing and um, hence the um, getting all these bolts out, otherwise it just wouldn't be worth it. Here we have the tap. speed and then probably a little bit less than that This is an M10 by 1.5 pitch. Okay, so that's good. We'll go across now and fit the um, oil in. We just cleared out all that residual oil and stuff with a bit of carbon clean. And make sure we dry it out because. Uh, Make sure it's nice and clean and dry it out because otherwise the um, uh, the Loctite doesn't doesn't like that chemical at all. So we use the uh, we use our stick, simplest, cleanest 
easiest way to go about it. In the hole, holding it straight, bit of pressure. Bit of turning, more turning. Once we get to the surface, we'll take it down a fraction more just below the surface. Knock out the tank. Job done on that M10. So all four M10s are done now. Now we'll go back and we'll do the M6. Some of these are imperial, some of them are metric. Um, it's the order of the day, depending on the brand uh, and the size. Uh, now we should be on um, on the one back from there, so that'll be 176. Uh, sorry, 160.3. This is our building point. We'll just bring it down there. Uh, so it should be 160.36 and we're going to go in here 175. I find it more efficient to do what I've done here when I've got a multiple of them is to spot them all in and then even if you're coming back to the same spot again and again it's still a lot quicker than changing but uh changing the jobs out because when i did the six mil so i went around and did all three when i did a 10 mil i went around and did all three and progressively worked through it that way uh rather than um sticking to the one hole and doing the doing the whole job okay so we'll go up to high speed This, by the way, are dead-end holes. That's a dead-end hole, that's it. A uh, question was asked about, uh, you know, why, why don't I use a shop vac? Well, I use the shop vac for a lot of things, but the shop vacs don't like these curly stuff. Um, so even though the one I've got uh, is a uh, has a um, cyclonic arrangement in it, it still don't like it, and the noise drives me silly. Um, I'm almost deaf, but uh, there's certain certain uh, cycles that uh, cause me a lot of grief. And one of those is the vac, is the shop vac. Um, maybe one day I'll I'll put one in and fit it outside the, the building and, and set it up that way. Um, so uh, now I'll go to low speed and get some of our kerosene. Ok, 
to the same deal. Um, get a little coil. Coil. He's broken. I'll flip that over. The job is done. Ready to tomorrow morning. The client will be able to pick that up together with some other jobs that I'm preparing today. Um, that's it for uh, get around number 21. And uh, I'll be back later on today with uh, by the um, uh, by my bench. I've got lots and lots of things to show.